In this video, I'm going to talk about comments in HTML. So comment tags are used to insert comment text into HTML document. And this allows us to document our code in that we can explain what the code is doing with text right next to the code itself. And pretty much all uh, coding languages have some way of documenting code. And in HTML, it's done with the comment tag. So we can just say open angle bracket, exclamation mark, dash, dash, grocery list, dash, dash, close angle bracket. And that's it. That's our first comment. It just sort of describes what this code is doing here, that it's a grocery list. And if we do a refresh, it's not actually going to show up in the rendered page that the user sees. It'll just show up in the source code that the programmer or whoever's developing the website can see. We can also have multi-line comments. So we can put the comment over multiple lines. We can say open angle bracket, exclamation mark, dash, dash. And we can, you know, put in some line breaks and put in some data. So maybe we put in some data about who, you know, who wrote this and when. And I'll put in my name and the date. And we can have a multi-line comment like that that just sort of spans multiple lines and lets us put in more information. Now, documenting error code like this isn't really important in sort of small trivial cases like this. Like you could tell that's a grocery list just by looking at it. Um, and we also don't want to put in comments that are very, very long, you know, that try to explain everything necessarily when it's, when it, especially when it's obvious. Um, where documenting error code becomes really important is when we start creating complex code that is difficult to figure out just by looking at it quickly. In those cases, when we document our code with quick, helpful reminders about what it's doing and how it works, that's really going to help ourselves to understand it the next time we go to see it, next time we read it. Um, oftentimes, programmers will joke that when they go back to code they wrote only a couple months ago, they can't really figure out what they were doing. They'll struggle to understand their own code. And it becomes really important when you start working on a team uh, in a project, because if we can't understand our own code that we wrote a few months ago, how can we expect other people to understand our code, especially when it's complex? One thing to keep in mind with HTML comments is that even though they won't be visible on the web page, like the rendered web page that the user sees, they are still technically visible to the user. So if the user just says right click view page source, they can see the comments in there. Um, well, this one I didn't save. So I'll refresh it now, and then you can see the comment there, the other comment there. Um, so the comments are visible to the user technically if they just do a, a right click and view page source. Um, and this is something to be aware of just because if, you, if you're coming from a language like Java or something like that, the comments you use in those languages, they disappear. The, the compiler it's called or you know, which, whichever tool you're using to, to run the code will, will strip them out and the, the user running the program never actually sees it. You know, I've seen comments like, please work, or I don't know what this does. And you probably wouldn't want to leave comments like that in your HTML code, considering that you know the user can see them. Um, one thing to keep in mind with HTML comments is that you can't put a comment inside another comment. So maybe if you had like uh, you know a multi-line comment, and you tried to just sort of copy and paste another comment and stick it in for some reason, like maybe you're like, oh well, this pertains to this, so I'll just copy and paste it and stick it in. That's not going to work. You'll it won't uh, be rendered correctly. You'll actually get this showing up. Um, so just be aware of that, that, you know, this is going to end this comment here. You're not going to get the behavior you expect. So you can't insert a comment into another comment. Just be aware of that. Um, one other helpful way we can use HTML comments too, is to temporarily disable or temporarily, temporarily remove parts of the document by enclosing regular HTML tags inside a comment tag to essentially remove them. So we can do this to you know, take out HTML tags that might be preventing or messing up the behavior we're expecting. Or we might take out HTML tags with comments when we aren't really ready for them yet in terms of our website's functionality. So, you know, in this grocery list here, if I wanted to just sort of get rid of oranges for a bit because maybe I'm not ready for that for some reason, um, what we can do is just stick an HTML comment like that and now it's gone. It's out of the list. And if we wanted to take out pairs, you know, just bring the the list down a bit, or just, sorry, bring the end of the comment down a bit, and we take out that as well. Um, and so just, just be aware of that, that, that you can do that too, and that might be a way to help you debug things. That becomes a little more relevant once you start doing things like CSS and JavaScript, where taking out parts of the page is going to have a bit more of an impact in terms of the way the page is rendered and what the page is capable of doing. But be aware of that just because that's going to be a, a helpful debugging tool at some points. And that's kind of the basics of uh, comments in HTML. Check out PortfolioCourses.com 
where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.